We did it. Victory. Victory. Uh, we're here. We're here. Uh, it's the little things. We're here. <laughs> Techie problems today. Thanks for being patient with us. We're still here. We're still on the we challenge. Still here. That's and, right. And it was a challenge to get on this Zoom. That's right. There is uh, gremlins in the machine. So welcome, 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 finally, to day five, everyone. Um, so, gosh, it's day five. Gary, it's day five. Oh, it's crazy. This is unbelievable. You now, what have you done this week? Gosh, mm -hmm. you have just, you've embodied the fundamentals You've installed the wiring of the framework. It's in your, neuro your neurology, your physiology. Um, you have the attitude of a badass creator. I mean, this is crazy. And then yesterday, what did you do yesterday? You crystallized your vision. And uh, that is going to be something that you're going to be using forever. It's not going to go away. <clears throat> so let's do a, a short little... Uh, aha of and insights. What'd you learn yesterday? Is there some uh, questions that people have for us that we can uh, do help some you quick with? attendance? You see, that we got some people just coming on. Well, so hashtag 888 for attendance for roll call. And hang on a second. I'm having already there. Difficulties right here. Myself. There Chris is, is here. Perfect. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Linda. Perfect, 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 perfect. Again, so those of you guys just coming in, we apologize. We had some technical difficulties uh, with us hooking up with Zoom. Uh, somehow the page um, booted us out from our ability to, to stream through Zoom there. So we had to kind of work that out. Mm -hmm. That's the sentence trying here. to stop us. They know what we're doing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So let's get an 888 down there. Hashtag 888. Let us know that you are there. That's how we take attendance and that uh, makes it a lot easier for everybody. And awesome. uh, so um, so what do you all think about uh, um, yesterday? Crystallizing your vision. What did you think? Does it seem like it was like, really? Really? This is, this is I mean, to a degree, I mean, as, as we've always said, you know, this isn't hard per se, it just has to be done right. And when you do this, you can do that process with virtually anything and everything. You have the big, you have the, 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 the big vision, and then you can put, you can do small visioneering for each step that's going into that big vision. And uh, um, it's, that's what that's for, that think about that. It can get bigger, or it can get smaller, micro, macro. It's an amazing process. We use it all the time. All right, lots of it. So, so valuable info, valuable easier info. than I thought. Great, Chris, awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's what we wanna do. We wanna distill this Data down. found direction, awesome. That's great. That's Yay. It's, it's, it's good to have direction when you have a compass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Um, so that's good for you. And Anna, crystal clear. Good stuff, Anna. Awesome. Fantastic. There we go. All right. So um, I guess that any other questions? You've made some nice comments. Anybody need any more clar clarification on any of the steps? This is day five. This is it. We wrap a lot of things up today. We're going to review some yeah. stuff. We're also going to wrap some stuff up. And I, um, oh, so I was able to finish up my vision this morning. Good job, Debbie. Oh, and I my Already first achieved goal. my first 24-hour goal. Yay! Nice Good for you. Good that for you. Great. Nice. Um, so yeah, so today's a real nice wrap up. We're gonna talk a little bit about um, you know how and why and what the importance of is. We're gonna talk about a big vision because in our conversations with some of you, we're finding that you have um, you've set a standard for yourself of what you consider to be um, a big vision, 
And most time, most of you or most times in, in the conversations we're having, we're finding that those standards that you've set for yourself are, um, they're based on a past you, right? They're based on a past idea or belief system or concept of who you are. And so we kind of want to explore that and expand on that today. And, uh, and then kind of give you some ideas on how to use your compass to enhance and, and work that process in your favor. Right. Yeah. And then engineering can be used over and over again. That compass must be used over and over again. Literally, if you have a calendar in your phone, mark it down for every 90 days. Hero's compass, hero's compass, hero's compass. Yeah, that's I mean, it's a it's a really good thing to keep in mind. Um, when I when I have a specific um set of, of of vision processes that I'm working on, like something new and big and I've expanded. What I actually do is I actually put that compass on my screen, my phone screen. So when it pops up, it's a reminder for me. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a reminder for me to look at, okay, where today am I? Cause, cause you can do that. Here's the thing with the compass is you can measure it again today. And for a good chunk of you, it's going to be different numbers. Because your daily assessment of where you are and how you feel with each of these areas is going to shift and alter. Where is the compass? Let my assess. Did we not upload that, Ross? Uh, if not, we will. We will upload it if we don't. It, it should be on the in the group on the page. Um, and and so the the compass. I'll, I'll share it on the screen here, just as I'm talking about it. Uh, there we go. Look how prepared I am. What? I'm like a pro. Green job. <laughs> right. So, um, you know, the, 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 the beauty is that, it, you know, if you're, if you want to know where you're at in the moment, and this is one of the things I really like about the compass, because I use it in different areas, I, it, not only for this, but I use, I have a different one, a uh, different version of this for business specifically. Um, and it allows me to know that moment, that day, both myself as well as my team, because sometimes I'll get my team to do this and we all kind of, you know, mark where we are in the business aspects. Um, and, and then we come together. Um, so Anna says, can we have the compass, please? Okay, so can you upload that? Right now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we were so busy. Yesterday was so, uh, we were so um, buzzed yesterday and had so many things going on. Uh, we even forgot to put up the homework uh, post and someone had to remind us and we're like, oh no. So we'll actually do that and <laughs> get caught up today. So we feel bad. <laughs> yeah. we feel very bad. So the compass um, is this great tool that you can get a, a instant snapshot of where you are in the different aspects of your life. So if you did it weekly, realize that you're going to go through different changes, different things are going to happen, life, the world is going to do what it does, and it's going to alter where you are on the compass, right? And so, so it's a great tool that you can use um, to keep you on track for the things that are important for you. So when you set a big vision, I like to say you keep, you keep your eye on that compass for a good chunk, at least till the initiation stage, right? Until you know it's initiated. Then you know that the compass is moving because otherwise you're just kind of in the bay, just kind of wandering around, oh, I might go somewhere <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and hope that you end up where you want to go. So, you know, it's, it, it, use it till you get at least to the initial, initiation stages in, in the process that we did yesterday. Uh, to use that compass as a, as a regular check-in that you you are working on those things and you're not just saying it and then putting it aside and then getting caught up in what in in, in the life stuff that got you caught up before doing the process right so it's a really good tool for that so i would recommend that yes every 90 days but if you can do it weekly or even monthly um you will find great value in this as a reminder to get back to who you are to tap into that hero self, that badass self, and move you towards the direction it's gonna serve you in the moment, right? So that's the beauty of this, um, of this compass. 
and, and how you can start to utilize it and expand it more for your badass self showing up more consistently and having more well-rounded life um, as you move towards it. Okay. Exactly. What the heck is this system doing to me? All right. Fantastic. Any more questions for anyone? The compass has been loaded. Other than pointing out how we did a bad job yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure my wife is going, how could you be up until 1.30 in the morning and not do that? Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I'm going to hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was a lot to do. So yeah, it anyhow, crazy. it is what it is. So, uh, but uh, you guys have persevered and you're getting that stuff done. So awesome, awesome. And I'm trying to get my system is, oh, there we go. Oh, I see what it is. All right. So today we want to talk about the big dreams. And we want to encourage those big dreams. And we want to encourage you to dream big. Not the big from last week, but the big from this week. Because now you're an ultimate badass. So how does that feel? Can I get some thumbs up in the comments? How does it feel? How is that feeling for you now? There we go. Come on, give me some thumbs up. And such, so because now you have a next level attitude, your confidence, your self worth, and most importantly, your state of mind. You joined us five days ago with nothing but, nothing but a feeling, a sense of, is there something more? There must be something more. This is not how my story can continue. I am greater than this. So here's how it played out. Today, compared to day one, half of the people in this program have dropped out. They took themselves out of the game, or their sentinels did. They gave in to the complacency. But you showed up. And that says something about what's stirring up inside you, what's calling you to your greatness. And it's, it's up to you to choose, to listen to that call. We just have a way of turning up the volume a bit. So do you see the difference a few days together makes? Do you see and do you feel how this difference will benefit you from this moment on? Can you see the future more clear now? Because it seems we turned up more than volume. We turned up dignity and we set out to establish your greater identity, your hidden, no, no, not hidden, your buried real self, buried under the debris of broken promises, broken hearts, and broken spirits, pushed down further and further by the plethora of sentinels you never knew existed. Sentinels that we did not create. We did not invent them. But perhaps we, perhaps we gave them a face. We gave them a name, exposing their true existence and their power over you. And now we're giving you a choice. Because everything from this moment on is a choice. You have a choice whether to continue listening and obeying the sentinels or choosing not to allow them to continue to occupy any more space in your head. You see, they'll always exist. It's like a tag team. They'll always be lurking somewhere, patiently waiting for the right moment, but now you've shined the light on them. And that which was once powerful in the darkness and the recesses of your mind are now insignificant in the light. What a powerful being you've become in just these few days. Now you're free, free to dream big, bigger than you ever thought possible, bigger, brighter, bolder. And why? 
because you understand and finally gave yourself permission. Permission to excel, to go past the limitations put upon you, to see beyond the boundaries of possibility and learn to anticipate and expect victory. All while willing to take a few bumps and a few bruises along the way. Why? How? Because you're a fucking badass. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what you'll be like in a year? People, we've just scratched the surface. What else is there? What else is holding you back? The people who dropped out didn't like a little discomfort for a couple of days. Compared to, <laughs> compared to the complacency for a lifetime. Think about this. When you finish your hero's compass, the high standards of yesterday will now be the low standard of tomorrow. Because now you see things differently because that which could not be done can be. That which isn't possible is. You've inadvertently raised the bar for all the benchmarks in your life. And, that, and that's a glorious feeling. Now, mind you, we didn't really tell or show you what those benchmarks should be, but we did show and tell you that they were possible. And along with that, you would need to up your game to measure up to this new badass standard that you've realized. And that's okay. Is that okay? Can I get some more thumbs up? I'm pretty sure that's okay. And look at you now, ready to take on more, ready to already challenge those new standards you just set for yourself. Can you see what you've become? Did you think it was possible? We did. We've already had one, uh, several, several of the one on one calls with many of you. And what I hear most, not really in words, but, but in an undertone of, of despair and regrets and sadness, a feeling of it's too late. So what's going to be your greatest regret? Showing up in, in life at half mast, Or letting the full totality of who you really are allow you to sail through life with pride and purpose? This freedom opens up a whole new realm when it comes to abundance of your life. It's different forms. It's attraction. It's needed... A uh, cycle of flow. Have you lived a life of abundance? <laughs> Real abundance. An abundance of joy and of love and light and happiness and relationships. Yeah, and money too. Now that's a big dream. When we drop the facades, when we push aside the curtain and discover the true workings of the infinity matrix, you'll find it only has one purpose, to fulfill your wants, your needs and desires. When you can truly master this, your dreams now will seem so small. You have a sense of limitlessness that exudes from your very being. The yard becomes a ranch, the little market becomes a superstore. That local charity becomes a global cause. Your only limitation is now your imagination, along with the will to make it happen. That is, if you continue to feel worthy of all this that is offered. So what we want to do is to dream big, to expand yourself. And even if you fall short of that, again, coming back to Les Brown, you still end up amongst the stars. Shoot for the moon. 
at least you're going to be for that big thing without the expectations and the attachment of the expectation to that outcome. Because when you do that, that's what creates the discipline, right? When we developed the art of creating reality program, we had the concept of the hero's compass in mind. So Gary and I, we saw the, the pattern of lopsidedness in many of the people we attended seminars and other trainings with. They had an idea. Perhaps with some, they had a vision, but no foundation to support it and nothing in place to monitor progress. Most were unsustainable, not because they weren't worthy of their purpose, because they lacked the energy and fortitude to maintain themselves and stay fresh and on track. No one really understood the concept of sentinels and the kind of destructive power they wielded. Couples in love with joy, divorce. Business partners confident and driven in court or bankrupt. Did they have limitations that caused it to happen or did they just think they were not worthy? Who knows, maybe a little bit of both. So can you see the strength in having a solid mental enhancement in place to defend yourself against the, the harbingers of the world? Do you get how important it is to look upon any project, any dream with a visioneering type of plan and foundation in place to support it? So if you want to solidify this and really internalize this and instill a system that's going to keep this and you totally locked in and not allow you to get off course, not allow you to be dissuaded, and that's going to help you defend against the sentinels and eventually just ignore them altogether. That's why we created the art of designing your reality. It gets totally locked in. So too often we witness the, the blind leading the blind. Great teachings and writings are reduced to a meme or a t-shirt. I don't have time for this is the latest version of, I want the change, um, but I don't, I don't want the effort. The breakdown of society begins with the breakdown of its citizens. We witness one tragedy after another and, and are given a sense that the world is collapsing. Well, yet those at the cause of it all are calm. Hmm, perhaps something else is amiss. Too often we have a false pretense of what involvement means. A thumbs up on Facebook, a frown, I did my part. Our sense of health and healthcare is reduced to the pill for the symptom advertised on TV. Children so troubled and minimized, they turn to violence as their last resort of communicating their pain. Imagine, really imagine you being the answer. Imagine you can be the example, the beacon of hope for all those in your sphere. Can you see what you experienced this week, a forgotten feeling, a misplaced sense of empowerment? Did we deliver <laughs> or what? <laughs> You've already expanded enough to see where this can go for you and those you care for. Can you see and feel how approaching our training from a whole body mind approach delivers immediate and lasting results? Some of you were tingling. Well, other literally felt the, the neurological expansion happening in their brain. This isn't called fluff. This is called results. Do you see how this can happen? Do you see how having that foundation now? Can you see that more clearly? Can you think about other areas in your life where you could use these fundamentals and apply them and, and, uh, and, and then add that framework around it, and then create the vision around that. Can you see that? What areas are those uh, that, that, that give us the, oh, there's so much that you can do with this. It's unbelievable. 
So give me a hat, give me a high five, give me a thumbs up, drop it in the chat. Let me know that I'm I'm connecting here. Awesome. Let me know, put an eyeball in there. Let me know that you see it. <laughs> that you get it. See if you can find a cross-eyed emoji. Let's see if we can find that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> awesome. We got a bunch of hearts, a bunch of hand, hand clapping. Hey, there's an eyeball. Nice one. Right. I Thank like that so one. Much. Good. 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 Oh, Linda, you did find an eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> one will probably pop up about three o'clock in the morning. I found it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, last night, I. Um, like Ross was up till probably a little later than Ross though. Um, up till late, and but that's normal. That's not a new thing. Jerry the vampire. That's all I'm going to say. It's all that's I'm going to say. <laughs> and um, while up, I thought uh, I was going to do a an abundance hack for you guys today. And um, as I was going over it, I thought, hmm, what can I give them that's even more powerful than that? Um, that they can really take away and um, and really kind of solidify a lot of what we've done. Um, so I actually came up with um, an induction for you guys. And uh, I'm going to go through that now. So uh, if you guys are ready for that, uh, type hashtag I'm ready to transform. And if you're driving, please... Turn off the video. Say it again. Yes, and if they're driving, please turn off the video. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, great. So we got a bunch of hearts. You guys are ready for this? Okay. It's uh, so in order for you to participate in this part, I'm going to suggest that you find somewhere comfortable. If you can sit in a chair and do it comfortably, that's fine. Uh, with your feet planted on the ground, your hands um, like in your lap. Um, if you have space to uh, sit back or lay back on something like on the ground and then turn up the volume. Uh, please do that. There's going to be a fair amount of hypnotic suggestions in this process, meaning suggestions that communicate to your unconscious mind. That's all that means. Okay. Um, and um, it's a nice guided visualization journey that I think you will all enjoy. And so if you can find yourself in a comfortable, if you're driving a car, operating machinery, please do not do this at this time. Uh, you can come back to this and you can do it at that time when you have the ability to kind of block things out for about, it's gonna be about 20 minutes. Um, I, I shrunk the font, so I tried to get it less time, but I'll see, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> um, so we'll see if that works today. <laughs> Just gonna put it out there. <laughs> and um, it's it's a theory Ross and I have going on. It's, it's yeah. we, we, I'm, I'm not sure it works, but it'll be a master lab at some particular point in time. We know it's gonna be a master lab. <laughs> it might work its way in. Okay. So we can do this, and we can do this with time. Let's try this. <laughs> We just have so, a short transition from from electronic font to just writing smaller. Yes, yeah, <laughs> or faster. <laughs> or <slower. laughs> yes, all right. Yes, a lot so, of if you all can get, just go ahead and get ready and uh, in a comfortable position. I'm going to start some music in the background, and then we will get going here. So, just give me a second for techie stuff, and I'll be right with you. That goes there. That goes there. So let's start today by looking around the room that you're currently in, taking inventory of what's around you. Look over to the left, look in front, look to the right. Now, in a moment, you'll blink and start to put your attention on the way your eyelids smoothly cover your eyes. And for a brief moment, when your eyes close, all external stimulus gets shut out. 
And when you open your eyes, again, only to realize that the only thing that's changed is what's going on inside your mind. Going deeper into thought. And with each blink, slow down the pace at which you close your eyes. And even slower to open them until it feels so much better to close out the outside world for a time. Consider the possibilities of this experience setting in place. Just the right thoughts. The right ideas. And the right beliefs for you to activate an inner blueprint of your badass DNA from deep, deep within your heart's desire. Pulling you, enticing you, and drawing you into a new story of your potential. Taking actions, establishing new daily routines. Some in the mornings, some in the evenings, developing new habits for experiencing more joy, happiness, and abundance in your life. Consider it all. Now, to inform your unconscious mind that you are ready for all of your desires to unfold naturally for you. Please just go ahead and take a deep breath in. Hold it for a mental count of three. One, two, three. Now let it out. Excellent. And another deep breath in. Hold it again for the count of three. Two. One. Now let it out. You are doing great. Now the third breath. Make it deeper than the others before. Breathe it in deep. And then hold it. Hold it again. Just a little longer. And then just let it out. Then that's right. If you haven't already found the immense pleasure in allowing your eyelids to close and relax completely, then just take a moment and put your attention on the muscles and the tendons there. With your eyes closed, give the simple instructions for those tiny little muscles to relax and let go. Relax and let go even more. Relax and let go now before you allow yourself to slip into a comfortable state of dreamy relaxation. I'm sure that if there was a way to maximize your ability to respond to the direct as well as the indirect suggestions in this process. There is a part of your self that knows the secret. You know which self I'm talking to. Even as another part of you will find yourself going deep and deeper into relaxation as the suggestions are accepted. This can happen even if you are the type of person who needs to listen to my every suggestion, while others can just allow them 
to be registered at a level even below conscious awareness. Either way, you are going to find that the most essential part of your spiritually evolving life force will hear each and every word that I say. And perhaps, perhaps even feel them echoing deep into your mind. Into your thoughts. And even into your beliefs. There is a natural blending of the music with my words as they enter into your mind. And the suggestions I make will communicate to every cell, every atom, molecule of your badass self. From head to toe, from toe to fingertips, becoming a part of the intercellular communication of your body so deeply intertwined into your thought patterns that over time they will transform to be your very own suggestions of greatness. You will find that the more you consider these words, the more you will replay them in your mind and the more they will activate and they will confirm that inner badass blueprint is pulling you, enticing you, and drawing you into a bright, brilliant story of your potential. With the freedom to open up to new possibilities every day. So go ahead, go ahead and open up to new experiences. Let me try. Even new opportunities to live more of your purpose and passion without compromise. What if you accepted the idea that through the repetition of these messages, you will spontaneously find solutions rising into your awareness just when you need them most. Maybe you can think of being in certain situations and specific locations or around particular individuals where you want to establish a mental, emotional, and spiritual default of strength, creativity, and success. Your unconscious mind can begin to plan those times when you will be pleasantly surprised because you instantly have the exact tool skill and resource you need to live life on your terms so smoothly so easily so effortlessly starting with the awareness of an inner blueprint design for greatness and as things unfold naturally your badass self makes its presence known, feeling compelled to do some things while some other things need no compelling to just do now. In the nice time that can seem to tick on by, when your attention may drift and fade, drifting over to what it would feel like for sensations of resting to occur even more in an arm or a leg. That's right. From that core resting place, 
where sometimes your passion sparks a bright idea, lighting your path with clarity and focus. And on this path, you get more and more clarity of where you are, where you are going, and where you will be as you unravel into who you are meant to be. Like a caterpillar on a definite mission to embrace its destiny. Moving one step at a time towards the transforming chrysalis. Regardless of the obstacles, regardless of the hazards, you have found yourself on your own heroic quest. Some will receive an undeniable translation of what that inner blueprint design means for them. And others will enjoy more time inside the transformation chamber to decipher what's truly radiating from your heart. Accompanied with visions of life's landscape of experiences. Horizons with glimmer of the greatness that's in store for you as you follow your heart. Take the steps along the path. Listen to that inner badass voice and focus on the signs that steer you where you are called to be. What would have to happen for that passion spark to become a light? And for that badass self to break free from any enclosed temporary darkness and welcome the inevitable day when this light cracks through, rising from the horizon. As the earth rolls toward the dawning of a new day. A day filled with hope, filled with the belief in an emerging future that's bright and beautiful. And with the light reaching gently across the sky and exploring an inner domain of the self. And your voice begins a new dialogue. That transformation is ready for you now. The time is now for you to act. The world, the world needs you to show up as nothing less than your greatness. And it's like a calling, a calling from your soul. And from here, you choose to accept only empowering communications into your reality. Just imagine. Imagine the butterfly effect of being immersed in this language of enlightenment. What would that do to your experiences in life? What would you do? What would you do now that you've never done before? How would you think? How would you think now that you couldn't think before? What images, words, thoughts, ideas, feelings, and insights would bubble up 
through consciousness into a whole self full sensory experience. As the badass exercises its power and releases from the old disempowering identities and limitations, the spiritually evolving life force accepts its destiny. And on the wings of determination, makes a deep commitment to live life fully. Beyond any preconceived ideas, to explore the boundaries of potential and possibility. To live the dream every day. There may be many questions swirling in your mind. Just allow those answers to be revealed in just the right way, at just the right times. And feel what it would feel like, feel what it would be like to be this authentic and powerful you with the ability to write your life story from a clean slate letting go of past limitations, letting go of current limiting beliefs, letting go of any possible future fears, and settle comfortably in the center of your own chrysalis. As you let the rest of your body rest comfortably, Deeply relaxed, letting go of any muscle tension, face relaxed even more, breathing deeply, that's it, neck and shoulders relax, letting go even more, breathe deep. That's right. Now arms and legs relax, loose and limp, comfortable and at ease, deeply to the core. Let your chest, back and abdomen go loose and limp. Let them go comfortably relaxed, as if your entire body was just slipping into a deep, and restful sleep. A deep and restful sleep. Where your mind was calm, centered, and receptive to new suggestions. Suggestions which will be established while establishing the habit of being driven to succeed on the path you choose to take upon awakening. Now, once more, allow all of the muscles, all of the nerve endings, in fact, every cell, atom, and molecule in your body to just go loose and limp. From the top of your head, to the tips of your toes, from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers. Every bit of your body can now go completely and totally relaxed into a deep trance-like state where you will find yourself is calm, centered, and receptive to new suggestions and questions that will interweave the habit of being driven to succeed on the path you choose to take upon awakening. You explore the boundaries of your potential and always strive to do better. You consider 
what is within the boundaries of your potential and how you could safely stretch those boundaries. How much better could you allow yourself to feel today, tomorrow, and the next day? You are excited to complete tasks and move closer to your goals. Crystallizing your vision even more. What excites you? What excites you about achieving success today? You are driven by passion and purpose. I wonder, what could happen for you to feel even more driven? to fully be who you were meant to be. With your vision firmly encoded in the infinity matrix, you make steady progress towards achieving that vision. And you say to yourself, I welcome my badass self into my reality. I embrace my badass self into my reality. I release my badass self into this reality. You explore. Explore the boundaries of your potential and always strive to do better. You consider what is within the boundaries of your potential and how you could safely stretch those boundaries. How much better could you allow yourself to feel today, tomorrow and the next day? You are excited to complete tasks and move closer and closer to your vision. What excites you about achieving success today? You are driven by passion and purpose like never before. And I wonder, I really wonder, what could happen for you to feel even more driven, to fully be who you were meant to be, to allow the badass you to show up in life with your vision firmly encoded in the infinity matrix. You make steady progress towards achieving that vision. And you say to yourself, I welcome my badass self into my reality. I embrace my badass self into my reality. I release my badass self into this reality. And once again, once again, the recollection and integration of those words continues on a level even below conscious awareness. Creating an inner spiritual shield that makes you invincible upon awakening as your badass self starts to regain the awareness of another world of existence where the air is fresh and a gentle breeze can sweep across your face, leaving behind the warmth of the sun beaming down on your wings, feeling the inner and outer strength growing with every breath, feeling that the time has come to awake from this resting slumber and begin to explore the domains of one's potential. Remembering there was a time not too long ago when you began your journey on a path of transformation and your gift at the end, your gift at the end of your destination is so grand that it defies the simplicity of words and can only be felt deep in your heart. Feel it. 
pumping with adrenaline, pumping with healthy blood cells. Feel it pumping these messages throughout your body from the core of who you are and radiating out into the infinity matrix. Now, if this is time and a place to sleep, then your bodily functions will return to a calm, resting, healing state restoring more and more health, harmony and vitality as you rest peacefully and deeply in a sound, restful sleep. So let go deeper now. And for now, void out any of the awakening suggestions that I make if it's a time and a place to sleep. But if it's a time and a place to be awake and alert, I'm to be awake, alert, and conscious, then as I count from one to five, you will find yourself coming back to more of an aware and awake, rested state, into full awakening consciousness. One, more awake, more alert. That's it. Two, more aware of my voice or the sounds that are naturally around you. Three, more aware of your breathing. That's it more aware of your body. Four, coming all the way, all the way back now, that's it. Feeling fully rested and rejuvenated. Five, all the way back now. Eyes open, wide awake, wide awake. Fully rested, rejuvenated, welcoming your badass self into this world. Finding yourself back in front of the screen. However that shows up for you, wherever that is. I know sometimes you want to stay there, but let's come back to the screen. And go ahead and let me know. I'm going to pull up my screen here. Let me know in the chat. How was that for you as you come back? <laughs> All right. Um, Gary, perhaps tape and send as a separate induction. Oh, sound is a little off for her. Oh, okay. All right. Um, well, we are recording. I'm not sure. Was the sound okay for you on your end, Ross? No, it was wonky. It got a little bit wonky there. It's, uh, um, it's just somehow it's not translating between the two platforms. So. All right. All right. Yes, we, we, uh, we will. Uh, Shot this piece out of the recording and it is recorded. So it should have recorded fine here on the desktop. That's very uh, possible. That's very, very possible. Yeah. And then uh, we can pop, pop this out and then we'll uh, repost uh, just this piece. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but those of you that did lit here and whatever you did here, you're unconscious yeah. what it needed to. So uh, sound yeah. wasn't so great, but uh, Linda said had a breakthrough idea on next step. Thank you. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Nice. Um, her, uh, her one on two call scheduled for later on today. So we can't wait to hear about that, Linda. Thank you. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Great. Okay. So, um, so you guys enjoyed that, whatever you can listen. What, if anything else, anyone, anything else come up for you while you're in that process? Any you know, ahas, any insights, any? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Uh, that was wonderful. Then Sentinels came to visit and someone made a distracting noise near me <laughs> for a bit of time. And I kept focusing on your voice. Way to go, girl. <laughs> it's amazing that now that you can, you can sense them, you can identify them. They simply, you just whisk them away now. And, awesome. Uh, and Anna said, I also came up with an idea for fulfilling my potential. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so great. That is good, good, good. So yes, we will. Uh, I will chop this out so it'll be its own. Uh, we'll have the full class of obviously, but then I'll have this segment specifically taken out um, as an audio uh, that you guys can listen to um, and have as a regular. Uh, and um, let me think how I want to do that because when we take down the group, all of these will be gone. Um, 
I'll figure out a way to get it so you guys can definitely download it. How about that? If you've done the challenge, if you want to download of it, and this goes for you, it's only the people who want to download version of this uh, MP3 version. So you can put on an iPad or phone uh, or phone or whatever to listen so, to. So Gary, let's have a, let's let's do this for the people who are here now. Yeah. And the people who are going to be on this on replay. Yeah. Put in hashtag download. Yeah. Okay, and but then only those people who do it will get the will will yeah, will yeah. directly send out to you because I want right. to right. We can send you for showing you the copy uh, in your instant message. Yeah, well, I want to reward you for showing up. So absolutely. Um, so whether you're here now or you're doing it on the replay, hashtag download. Awesome. There goes Linda. She's <laughs> good. Okay, um, and then I'll set up a, a specific download link that you guys can. Good, 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 good. There you go. Fantastic. Great. Okay, so. <laughs> remember put down down hashtag download even if you've been communicating that's the uh we go that's through cue for us to know hundreds of, of hundreds of comments every day so we need there you go we need to sort through it all so we can <laughs> find you hashtag download all right great. no assumptions yeah okay so um okay. The other thing I wanted to ask, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'd really love it if you could share with us what this training has done for you, how these five days have made a change and an impact for you. Um, and I mean, if you can uh, actually, what I think what we should, what we're going to do um, after we catch up with what we missed out on yesterday, what we're going to do is we're going to put another post up that'll be specific for this. So we're going to create a post that says what the five day challenge did for me. Okay. And we'd like you to, on that post to share in whatever length that you, that you want. Um, uh, and it can be either uh, a video posted or it can be a, um, a, a text posted, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever is fine. It's, and whatever length is you're, you're okay with to share with us. So we can kind of, um, you know, collect those things and use that to share when we do future challenges so other people get to know, hey, oh yeah, this is worth jumping into and, and, and actually doing the whole thing, right? Um, you know, so, so if you can do that, we'd really appreciate that. It'll be a place where, again, everybody can go and drop their feedback for us. Um, and it, it, if we can get that support from you, it would mean so much. We'd be really grateful because we really are this year, we're going full tilt at building out this community and making massive shifts. So uh, these things will help us in that process so that other people can see that as well. Um, and they can, and a lot of the, what you'll find, a lot of them will relate with some of your stuff to you, some of your experiences. So don't think if it's a short one or, uh, or you're going to overdo it or what, whatever your heart desires to share, that's what we ask for. And we'd appreciate so much. Okay. Um, so, uh, and, and also for us, Ross and I, for hearing those stories and experiences, it's, a, you know, for us, it, it warms our hearts and it just may be what someone else needs to actually take action and not only join, but, but do the whole thing and not fall off halfway through, right? Um, and, you know, because there's the, the, again, there's a lot of reasons why people can fall off and, uh, and you know, they, you, they'll categorize, we can categorize them into one of those sentinels, right? And, uh, and, and because those sentinels have so much control over those people's lives, it takes them out of the game, right? We want them to see that, hey, I want to I blast through that and I want to see the importance of this uh, and, and to do this. So that would be greatly appreciated. If we can get that from you, um, just go ahead and type in hashtag, um, what have you done for me lately in the chat? Uh, and, if we, um, and if you're going to do that for, if you can do, do that for us, that'd be awesome. Yes, you heard me right. Hashtag, what have you done for me lately? Um, you can tell I'm a Janet Jackson fan. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever, whatever you want in there. Just, just if you can let us know if you can do that. We're awesome. going to post a video in uh, uh, Gary's latest Halloween costume of Janet Jackson. Ooh, Janet Jackson. There I, I can't be positive if this is the one with the wardrobe failure or not, but <laughs> we are going to try to not use that one. Hey, so, I've done I've done more bizarre things than that. Trust me. So it's <laughs> but we don't need to share it on video like we did the last time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say there was a Shania Twain impression that I did a while back 
in her sl slim red dress and heels. So just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you. That image will never hit my mind. <laughs> yeah, hope you get that visual. <laughs> I, I, okay. All right. So um, just a reminder that dream assessment calls are still available. They are booking up. Um, there was, that's pretty much what took most of my time yesterday is that so many people were get, getting that done. Uh, remember we said yesterday that with your permission to over deliver, that we've decided that, that to do, um, was to offer everyone on the challenge, the dreams and assessment evaluation call from both of us. So uh, what I said about Linda earlier is that this is a one on two. So it's you and Gary and myself. And that's all. And we're going to we're going to evaluate your your big dreams. Are they big enough? Um, do you have clarity on them? Evaluate the level of badassery needed to get to them and then come up with a blueprint on how to get there. And if you haven't done it yet, then pop in uh, hashtag dream big and then we'll connect with you and we'll set up a uh, through a private message and then we'll set up a, uh, a private Zoom call. So you would be amazed at the ahas and the what the <laughs> that come up on these calls. Um, they just surface, they just surface. And because just like these days of training, foundations need to be examined. Sentinels need to be exposed and the dreams given the clarity that they need to come to fruition. We're not just talking about wishing for something. We're gonna, this is creating the plan the visioneering plan, not the fruition from last week, okay? We're not doing that. We're doing the fruition of your, your dream for this week with your new badass attitude. Now, I want you to be aware that this is only for those who seriously want to take things to the next level. Because we don't accept anything but your badass self during these calls. We just want to forewarn you. Yeah, and those of you that have done it with us already know that that's true. <laughs> that's right. So it'll be Gary and I and you. That's it. Okay? No dogs, no cats, no phones going off, no, oh, I have this, nothing. Okay, so put some time into when's going to be a good spot, a good time, and then we'll try and work it out. Um, and we'll be pulling it, you know, we're going to be pulling your badass self to the forefront. So drop in that hashtag dream big. If you feel that you're ready for it, then we'll set up your call. So does this make sense? Do you see the value of a one-on-two session with only one, one purpose in mind? You. Your clarity on the concepts, your clarity in your dreams, your clarity on the rest of your life. So before that happens, let's do a recap of the formula. All right. So let's talk about the F. Here. So Chris said on uh, the two on one call last night was really eye opening. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate that. We really enjoyed it. All right, so let's get some clarity on the fundamentals and better uh, of the FFV. So what does that stand for? In the, in the comments, this is quiz time. Who what? remembers what FFV stands for? Tell us what the formula is. Come on. Stop going back to, or stop scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere, it's here somewhere. Put your notes away. Well, you can use your notes because if you took notes, then that's good. It's open book. It's open. It's yeah. open internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Not on Wikipedia yet. <laughs> what does FFV? Yeah, it's fundamentals, fundamentals, framework, and vision. Yeah, way to go, Chris. Awesome. It's all over this. We really released something. Yeah. Okay. So now she gave everybody the answer. Yeah, we, they all get it. Oh, good, good, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Come on. All right, so why are the fundamentals important to you? Why are they important to you? 
Why is it important to have fundamentals? What, what is it about that that, um, that's, that makes this formula work, do you think? Mm -hmm. Right. You can start with some of the things that we've told you, but this is about you. All of this is about you. What about, what, what are the, the fundamentals have you seen is like, oh gosh, I really needed this. This is really helping me blank. Or even what are some of the fundamentals that we put in place for you? What, if you can remember back to, to day two, what were some of the fundamentals? It's the base, it's the foundation, absolutely. Right. You got it, Chris. Mm -hmm. so what were some of the, the foundation, what were some of the fundamentals that we went through on day one? <clears throat> or day two, sorry. Okay. So good. Fundamental for strength. Yep. Very good. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Base uh, learning. Base yep. learning. Good. Good. So, what are some of the fundamentals of your badass self then that we talked about? And it's okay to go and look at day two training. It's okay. <laughs> You can even pull up your 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 um, manual if you, your your workbook if you want. I think they were writing so fast that they're just trying to decipher their writing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Let's talk about the why do you feel that it's necessary? Well, I, I'm 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 going to hold them to this, Ross. I'm going to actually. Okay. I, I know it's only a few of us here left at this at this. All point. right, let's go. Um, so fundamentals, right? We talked about putting you first. I want you to remember that that's an important critical component. Finding your self-value, your self-worth, right? To remember that that's important. Yes, in a, being a, not, a, not just eliminating sentinels, Chris, but being aware of them and then knowing what to do with them so they don't no longer impact you, right? And then knowing what those different, how they categorize, because it's an understanding of how they, where they're categorized, you can have compassion for them um, and realize that they're going to be there. They're going to do what they do, but they don't have to have an impact on you, right? right. And, uh, and, then, and then building up your, which muscle? Your no muscle for the things that don't serve you and the things that do, right? So those fundamentals for your badass self are critical. There's other components, absolutely, too. Um, but having those components are fundamental for your badass self to show up. Okay? And so, it's, so that's why we, we just want to bring, because we want to wrap this up and really tighten it so that you're not, so nothing gets loose when we're done this five-day training, which, by the way, we do have an extra bonus day tomorrow for those of you that are here. Um, we do have a bonus uh, session tomorrow that we're going to do at um, 9 a.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time. We'll be streaming to the, the group here again as a bonus call for those that, that want to show up and, and join us. And we'll talk about what that is in a moment. Yeah, and Chris, so on, on, on eliminating Sentinels, um, what you're doing is you're actually eliminating their influence. Yeah. Um, some <laughs> sentinels you do want to. You're eliminate. not going on a sniper. Um. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but but I mean, some sentinels you do want to eliminate. Just be, you know, you just don't even need be need to be in their presence. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but most of the time, it's really creating the the ability to. He's going full on agent. <laughs> yeah. <She's> <laughs> but, you, know, you identify identify them, and as soon as you identify them. As soon as you do, and you put them in that category of one, one or one through four, they no longer have power, yeah. but they still can be irritating, you know, especially the jealous ones, those ones, you know, that's my personal, like, um, so then you can make the choice of, am I going to continue to be in the presence of this person, um, if possible, and such, but you can't eliminate that person. So that's just, uh, it's in case Google's listening. <laughs> I think I saw a movie about this, <laughs> but we want to recognize, identify them, and then eliminate their influence on us. <laughs> so great, 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 great. And ninja, yeah, really. 
Okay. All right, and then so then what what's the um, what's the framework? So tell, tell us about what's the framework. What what are the elements of the framework within uh, the five day challenge that we talked about, um, and why do we need to establish a framework? Google is always listening. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, giving myself permission to let go. Yeah, we need to create a space for that to exist, right? So yeah. the framework is about creating that space for that, that, that reality for you to step into, right? And so um, how did we do that in the training? What were the things that we did to establish that um, body gym? Right? Um, a different word for it. Mm -hmm. So brain gym, you mean? So we did the brain gym stuff, right? Um, I guess it is brain body gym. I guess so. Um, yeah. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Your vax, yeah. right there. And so we're and with the vax, we're establishing the attitude, right? That's going to allow that presence to be there, right? The attitude that other people expect uh, to show up when your badass self is present. And then the principles, you know, putting your power movement, putting those principles um, in, in in place and locking them in. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and then the and the last piece of the puzzle was the vision. Right. And um, you know, and, and some of you uh had some ease with that and some challenges with that yesterday, right? Creating that vision, those components. Um because you probably haven't been taught to do that before. Probably you haven't been taught to train the universe, train the matrix to give you results in a specific way like that. So it's a new thing. It's okay. It's understandable. You're going to take some practice and do it. And the more you do it, the easier it gets and the more fun. You get to add all kinds of different things to it and do that. So uh, in just five days, we prove to you that the FFV formula works, right? Thumbs up if, if we prove to you that it works for to, to for have your badass self show up. Okay. Yes, and the compass was that added bonus we added in there as well. Absolutely, yes. Right. Um, and uh, so if, if we've shown you and proved to you that the FFV formula works, um, you know, and, and, you know, great. We got some good thumbs and, and hearts and excellent. So right. we should also mention, because we had some questions about uh, those, the Art of Designing Reality Self-Emergence Program, we should also mention that that is actually developed based on the FFV formula, right? So we're using the formula we know that works, we've proven to you that it works, and we've applied that to the Art of Designing Reality. So in the fundamental sections, we talked about you know, the art of designing your reality, the eight days training, and that's under the fundamentals, the key things you're going to need to build on for all of the other things that we do in that program for the year, right? Um, the reality creation studio studios sessions are also designed for that particular purpose to make sure we're establishing and, 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 and um, we're making sure that the fundamentals are maintained throughout the whole time. Right. And then the designing your reality library is also a support mechanism for that fundamental um, to, to stay in place in times when it can kind of seem a little wobbly or out of place. Right. When reality does does that to us. OK. Um, and then the framework was is the master labs. And that's when we're now putting all these other things in the framework for you to now experience more of the reality, more of the matrix. Um, and then also elements of secrets to the manifesting, uh, secrets to manifesting mind. There's, there's parts of that that are within the framework context um, and, and they help to design that at an unconscious level, right? And then the membership to the private community and the inbox magic. All those are within the framework aspect of the formula for the art of designing your reality, the self-emergence program. Um, and then the vision part is, it comes in with the other, so the second part of uh, the secrets of manifesting because there's 16 processes. The first half, uh, the first eight is for framework, second half is for vision, 
right? And, uh, and also the burnout and fizzle uh, sessions are designed for that as well, where we're, um, we're, you know, we're making sure that we're getting clear on those vision and doesn't get dark and, and gloomy or you lose sight of it, those kinds of things. And then the two and a half day intensive is all about expanding your vision and getting more understanding of what the uh, infinity process is and how you can use it to alter shift and 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 change reality right and some people had asked you know does that mean you have to be a uh uh you know a, a practitioner and 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 a coach or it doesn't at all it's 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 going to enhance all of what you do when you do that training it's we only have the option for those that choose to or want to at that time go ahead and uh and, and do certification that's just an option for them it's not a mandatory thing so just to be clear on that right so it's an added two and a half day bonus training which comes with the certification for those who choose to take that path right um and uh and it is by the way currently planned to be virtual but with things opening up more now um once they open up hopefully they'll open up more ease on international travel then we'll actually have it in a location where we can all get together and actually do a two and a half day event and just rock it okay so that's that's otherwise it'll be virtual for now and for those that can't make it to the actual location they'll be able to stream live stream and then watch it at live as well right that's the plan yep. right uh, the plan. and then the oracle sessions are also part of that vision which is um i mean those are going to be I mean, those are one-on-one -on -one with with Ross and I. So that you know, that's 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 going to be some powerful sessions where we're we're really really crystallizing those visions for you as you transform through the, throughout the program, right? And that's how we created the Art of Designing Reality program. So we just wanted to share that with you because some people had asked about you know how do we put this together and uh, you know what 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 the components are and what they do and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that was uh, that. I just wanted to share that with you. We appreciate you all for sticking around on this challenge and being here and and being the the cream of the crop that's that's that stuck with it and and saw the value in you in you stepping up and owning your badass self. We sincerely hope that um, you know the, that you take this stuff and apply it. Remember, it's about implementing what you learn and learning from what you implement. Right that's what we're asking for okay and it's always what we've asked for from day one even with the live streams learn from what you implement implement what you learn and learn from what you implement okay it, it, it that is so important so um we do have a bonus day for those of you that, that, that want to join us tomorrow 9 a.m pst um uh it'll this will be streamed into this group only uh it's i, I think it's going to end up kind of like a rabbit hole, but, uh, but it's going to have a slant towards, um, uh, towards the, the, the five day challenge. Um, I will be, I was going to teach on the VIP call last night. I was going to teach um, uh, an accelerated way to the divisioneering process. Um, but we felt there was just you, you, everybody there had already had enough for the day, so they were already full. So I thought I'd take that. In. We're going to do that tomorrow instead, um, and then we're also going to talk a little bit about um, you know the why this five day challenge has had such an impact on those that have taken it to understand the mechanisms of it as far as the markers of transformation and and how that plays a role in this um because that's part of the uh the infinity process and we'll kind of kind of leak out a little bit of that for you all right um so yeah so that's uh the extra day for those you want and any q a's any q a's are all about any of the days bring them tomorrow we'll answer them for you any q a's that you have about the art of designing the program bring them for you uh tomorrow we'll be more than happy to go through all of that with you um yeah, and I think that's it, right, Ross? Is there anything else that I? Uh, yeah, so we are also um, we we came up. Uh, we I think we've talked with some people about it, but not everyone. Is that you know we've actually uh, kind of created some uh, different type of payment plans and such mm. like for those who want to get involved. Um, and uh, uh, depending on, on what level that that's going to happen at, we also have, uh, just secured uh, just full on financing. And uh, which is very exciting for us as well. That was uh, came from a highly recommended source. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, and then we can go into some of those details, um, you know, if you choose. Yeah. 
and awesome. that's it. So, you know, one of the things that I, I, I just really want to uh, emphasize with everyone is that, you know, you're here today. You've gone through all five days because you see the value, the value in discovery, discovery, discovery of you, the real you. And what a fabulous you that you are. You've stepped up. You've participated, you've learned, grown. Some of you have cried. Some started buzzing. <laughs> Not sure how to define that one, but you did. <laughs> and most of all, you supported each other and you, you've you already created a community. Yeah. And that's what's dearest to us. And, and for all of that, we both commend you. You've gone above and beyond. You have really become a badass. Yeah. And we will continue um, our support of you and this new you that uh, that you have uh, discovered. Yeah. And we will be doing the challenge again. You're more than welcome to come back and join because, I mean, it'll be the same. We're not changing the intro up, but you are going to be different. Right. That's going to be the thing. Exactly. Right. So then you'll notice how things are different on your next year if you choose to do it again. Um, yeah. But we will be doing We haven't decided on date uh, when we're going to do that yet, but we will be doing it again. Um, and uh, we'll let everybody know and, and get that out at that time. So there we have it. Um, thanks again, everyone. Be well. Please remember, we will post that uh, what I got out of the five days training um, post. Please share there. It would, it would touch our hearts if you could do that and uh, if it's specific about the five day training and or any of their interactions that you had with us. Um, and tomorrow, going day, 9 a.m. tomorrow. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Pacific in the group here. Um, we'll be jumping on. Um, do we want to do that? Um, I'm wondering, do we want to do that and give people the other Zoom to jump in, Ross, or just do it like we're doing it here? That's a good point. Um, yeah, I, let's. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of spent on uh, uh, being a talking head, so yeah, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind uh, doing it just like a rabbit hole. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, if you're already, let's use the 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 VIP link. If you're already registered for the VIP. Let's use that mm -hmm. as the bonus call tomorrow and I'll stream it to the, the group as well. So it won't be just us, it will be streaming that to the group. So let's use the VIP, the link for those of you that are here uh, to join us tomorrow. And then maybe Ross will just put a post up to let everybody else know they can jump on. Yeah, but they can jump everybody on. else know what's, what's going good. on. All right. But right now you guys are the creme de la creme. So that's why you're getting all this special attention. Whether you're here now or whether you're on replay. Yeah, absolutely. You've, you've stuck it through and uh, we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Be well. Have a great Bye. day, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. There we go.